creating an offset outline is a functional and also creative tool that Canvas Workspace brings us. If you look in the center of the cutting mat, I have a star shape. All of the additional layers that work out from that center were created with the Create Offset Outline tool. Let me show you how it works. If I move that over to one side, I can bring in this group of shapes that I will be testing it on. I will use my View options to zoom into the selected group of shapes. I will use my G shortcut key to ungroup them as they were already grouped. And now what I can do is work with them individually. So let's start with the square. The Create Offset Outline tool is in the Edit menu and the Edit section of that menu over on the right here. Click it and you will receive the Offset Outline pop-up box with all of the options available. The spacing refers to the distance between the original shape and the new shape. And that's between the edges of each. The direction is whether you send that new outline outside of the original shape or in towards the center. You can choose to send it to You can choose to just put it around the outside or if there are any landlocked areas like in text, we can also incorporate those too. We can choose what to do with the original shape after the operation has been completed. We can either leave that shape in place, delete it or set it to be a drawing line. We can also choose the corner type here from round or bevel. I'm going to start this process with a 0.2 inch spacing, sending it outwards, leaving this checkbox ticked, leaving the original shape in place and giving it a beveled corner type. When I click OK, we can see that a new shape has been created. It's always put on top of the original shape. So if I move this over to the left, we can see here that we now have the bigger shape and the original shape. Next, if I work with this circle, I'll change the spacing a little. I'll send the direction inwards. I will delete the original shape and I will put the corner type to round. When I click OK, all of those operations or all of those choices are enacted. So I'm left with the new smaller shape. Let's see how it works on this scallop shape. So edit menu, offset line tool, and I will just increase the size a little bit. I will send it outward. I will leave the original shape in place and I will leave the corner type as round. And we can see there we have the new larger shape and the original smaller shape. Notice what happens to the points though. They become less acute for each iteration of the outside line. Let's take a look at this border now. So for this, I will reduce the size. I will leave the direction set to outward. I will uncheck this box, leave the original shape and the corner type as they were set. Click OK, and then we have the new shape created. Now, because those inner areas, those landlocked areas were quite small, it hasn't created any new landlocked areas in this shadow layer because otherwise they would have been too hard for the machine to cut. 
let's move that off to one side and take a look at this logo or sentiment. I'm going to drop it down to the smallest size possible. I will leave all of the other options set as they are with the exception of the corner type which I will change to bevel. So we can see now that we have the new layer created. What it has done though is not actually punched the landlocked area through the word joy. So I would use the subtract feature from the process overlap options in the edit menu to punch that through. I will also just very quickly change the fill color on screen. And I will use my options menu in the edit screen to send this one all the way to the back of the stack. And then use my alignment tools to show you that that now fits perfectly behind that word. So if you were to cut the top layer from green card and the bottom layer from black card, you would have a lovely shadow layer around your text. Now, what about actual text, the text that we load through the text options in the pattern library? Well, we can create an offset outline with all of the options. However, we must make sure that our text is spelt correctly before we create it as the new layer is not editable. So let's put that offset outline in place. I will choose to block out the landlocked areas and I will set the corner type to round. I will send it to the back of the stack must make sure that I have the actual new layer selected. Canvas Workspace always keeps the original object selected. And there we go. You see, you can have a shadow layer for any custom text that you enter using the text options in Canvas Workspace. So as you can see, there are plenty of options available for using this tool oops, I've gone out a bit too far, for using this tool. Um, how you use it and what you use it for, again, as with all of these tools, is entirely up to you. But as ever, I would encourage you to load up a few different shapes and give that a try, changing all of the different options and seeing the results for yourself.